What is up? Welcome back. My name is Noah Hills. You can catch me on Twitter at Noah Moore Parties. And we are back with another Thursday Night Football uh, Prize Picks video. Uh, choosing five prop bets. Um, it's part of their flex play, trying to 10x our money. It's been a while since we've done that. I think we're a little bit ahead of 60, like 61% hit rate on the season. But yeah, the whole goal is to uh, go five for five for five each week. Let's get into it. <laughs> The first line I like this week is one of three Devonte Adams receiving lines. He's got 89 and a half receiving yards is up there, 7.0 receptions and 0.5 receiving touchdowns. I like all of these. I like the over on all of these for yards. Uh, he's averaging 98 per game this season. He's hit this line in eight out of 12 games. And in his last five games, he's averaging 133 yards per game. And has hit this line in four out of five games. He has one game below 74 yards and just two games below 95 yards since September. Like he is, Devonte is absolutely dominating. 89 and a half uh, is, you know, it, that's that's a decent sized line there, but he's maybe the best receiver in the league. He's been smashing that lately. I like the over on that. Also like the over on Devontae's seven receptions. He's averaging 6.6 .6 per game this season. Um, hit this line in half of his games, but in the last five, averaging 8.2. Hit this line in three out of five. The two games in which he didn't hit the over on this line, he had seven receptions. So he's hit, he has at least seven receptions in each of his last seven games, or his last five games, has more than seven receptions in three of those five. And only the Vikings have allowed more receptions per game to wide receivers than the Rams have across the season in the entire league. Like the Rams give up more receptions to receivers than all but one team in the NFL. And then 0.5 receiving touchdowns. I also like the over there for Devonte. He's averaging a touchdown per game this season, has scored a touchdown in eight of his 12 games. And in the last five weeks, he's averaging 1.4 receiving touchdowns per game and has scored in four out of the last five weeks, including two touchdowns in three of those five weeks. So he's been, a, he's always been a scoring machine, but he's still been one this season and especially so in the last month or so. So I like all three of those lines. You can only pick one from Devonte. If I had to pick one from Devonte here, it's very difficult and I like all three of them, but I would probably go with, okay, my prep I have that I picked receiving yards. I think I would go with touchdowns. I'm, I'm, this is a live pivot on this pre-recorded video, but I, uh, I like the touchdowns. So that, so that's one. That's one with two honorable mentions. The next for real one is Ben Skoronek. I, I don't know how you say that guy's name. I've seen him play. They say his name on the broadcast. I don't know. Skoronek. Ben Skoronek. Receiver for the Rams, 28 and a half receiving yards. I like the under. He's averaging 23.7 receiving yards per game this season and has more than 28.5 in just five out of 12 games and has been especially unproductive in his last five games. He's averaging 10.5 in those five games. Hit this line in just one game, which was when he had 30 yards last week on three targets. But it's not like he like suddenly got way more opportunity. He ran he ran a higher percentage of the routes last week, I think, but on a on like a targets opportunity basis. He had three last week, four the week before, four the week before that, and seven the week before that. So it's not like he was suddenly being fed in the passing game and so he had a good game. Like he had fewer opportunities last week than he's been having and he hasn't been productive lately. He's just not a very good <laughs> he's not a very good player, so I like him to go under, especially he's not that good. Who knows who's playing quarterback for them? All that being said, the next line that I like is Tutu Atwell's receiving yards line of 24.5. I like the over. Tutu hasn't played more than 14% of the snaps like all season until like two weeks ago. And now he's been a relatively regular player playing around like 50% of the snaps for the Rams in each of those games. And in the last three weeks, so even going before these last two weeks when he's played quite a bit, he had that three weeks ago, he had he caught like one pass for like 60 yards from Stafford. And so that was the first of those three games. But in those three games, he's averaging 44.3 yards per game, has hit this line in two of three weeks. And in the week in which he didn't hit it, he had 23 yards. So he's been like relatively involved since three weeks and especially since two weeks ago. Both of these defenses are like bottom five in yards uh, given up to receivers on a per game basis, really given up to pretty much all positions, honestly. So the, the defense will be soft despite the quarterback situation for the Rams being shitty. And Tutu is the kind of guy that can just like get behind the defense and it doesn't like, he can catch a poorly thrown deep ball if he's wide open or they can scheme him open on some sort of like jets, whatever it is. He's like kind of a gadgety player regardless. And so I don't know that he needs to rely on like eight pinpoint targets in a game to hit his over. It's like 24 and a half yards. He's either going to catch a bomb or he's not. So I kind of like Tutu uh, to go over this given his involvement recently. The next line I like is Josh Jacobs, 87 and a half rushing yards 
yards. He's averaging 109 per game this season, uh, has hit this line in half of his games, but we know he's been on really like a complete heater lately. In his last five games, he's averaging 125 yards per game. He's hit this line in three of five games. The Rams are top 10 against the run, but Aaron Donald is out for Thursday night football and who knows who's playing quarterback for the Rams. Like the, the Raiders should be in control of this game. They should be ahead uh, and therefore like wanting to run the ball late in the game, and they should have an easier time running the ball against the Rams than most teams have, given that A, Josh Jacobs has been awesome lately, and B, Aaron Donald is not playing. So I like him to go over 87 and a half rushing yards. And the last one of the uh, the five by five here, I debated between these last two. I'll give the one I, uh, I like the most first, and the second one will be uh, honorable mention. So Kyron Williams, 25 and a half rushing yards. I like the under. He really didn't start playing until like a month ago either. And he's averaging 22.3 yards per game since then, hitting this line in two out of four games. And the two games in which he didn't hit the line were last week when he had nine yards while playing 28% of the snaps. Three weeks ago, he also didn't hit this line or four weeks ago, whatever it was, the, the first week in that little stretch. Uh, he also had nine yards then while playing 27% of the snaps. So he's got two games, barely playing nine yards each, and then in between that, he had two games with like 35 yards. But Cam Akers played 72% of the snaps last week. He had a decent game. He had like 70 yards, scored two touchdowns. Like it seemed like they kind of were able to trust Cam Akers last week. Kyron Williams' role was scaled way back from what it had been the couple weeks before that. I'm not super confident in the deployment of the Rams running backs remaining consistent because it's been like a total mess all season. But given that Cam Akers played so much last week, given that Kyron Williams did not, and 22 or 25 and a half yards is kind of a lot. Like if he averages four yards per carry, he needs what, seven carries in order to hit this line. I don't know that he's going to touch the ball seven times considering how little he played last week, how much Cam Akers played last week. So I like Kyron Williams to go under 25 and a half rushing yards this week. And the one that I debated uh, going with, but ultimately will be an honorable mention, is Daniel Carlson, seven and a half kicking points. This is the Raiders kicker. He's averaging 8.3 per game this season. I like the over. He's hit this line in eight out of 12 games, and in his last five games, uh, he's averaging 7.8 has hit this line in three straight games and in four of five. And the Rams have allowed at least seven kicking points in six straight games and at least nine kicking points in five straight. Teams are kicking all over the Rams. Daniel Carlson's a good kicker and has been really productive this season. So I like him to go over seven and a half kicking points. So just to recap for the people in the comments complaining when I don't recap and they can't distinguish between an honorable mention and a, a, a main bet here. The main bets are Devontae Adams over receiving touchdowns, Ben Skoronek under receiving yards, Tutu Atwell over receiving yards, Josh Jacobs over rushing yards, Kyron Williams under rushing yards. The honorable mentions are Daniel Carlson over kicking points, and then Devontae Adams over on receiving yards and over on receptions. Hope everyone has a great day. See you next week. Peace.